hi guys thank you so much for watching it's your girl Taylor Shane over me again I trust you guys are doing very well thank you so much for clicking on today's video where I will be doing a redo of my previous looks using two products that have not been getting quite favorable ratings everywhere okay so I got two comments I know two from my previous videos one was from my girlfriend one was from someone who I said they didn't like my previous video where I showed where I featured the bare minerals stick foundation was a hot mess because I wasn't I didn't use the right shade which was odd I was shade matched at the store but okay I guess they didn't see my video from last week anyway so I wanted to feature that product again and let that person see that yes this is actually my shade and it is, and was not a hot mess so the second video the second product was the BH Cosmetics Opalescent Palette my girlfriend said she didn't like the palette that so I wanted to come here and do another redo of that palette and create a nice look using the same palette okay so if you want to see how I created this look don't forget to just continue to watch and well, let's talk about it in the comments okay guys Get started as you can see I've already primed my face and color correcting as well I have done my brows so the aim of today's video is to correct any misconceptions you guys have had from my previous two videos like I said uh, my girlfriend explained told me that I didn't I, she didn't really like this palette. I was really I was forcing it to work So I want to give it another go the other negative comment I received was the fact that the bare minerals Stick foundation was in my shade. So I'm just here to prove to those two people that I Can make things work and this is actually my shade. So first of all, we're going to get started with the eyes we're going to take our pencil brush from the crayon case and go into the palette once again I will be starting with the shade wish that is this purple shade here and I'm going to use that to outline my crease then taking a clean blending brush and just blending that out this one okay and just put tap that blend that into my crease as well then taking another clean then I will take another clean blending brush and just blend out that charm shade and just ensure that it is blending with the wish shade in the pencil brush again and taking the shade wish and putting that on both sides the outside and the inside And just taking my Maybelline concealer and just tapping that into the middle there and just blending or just putting that into the middle because that's where I'm going to put my glitter then taking the small shading brush from the crayon case and I'm going to use the shade I'm going to use two shades I will take the shade lovely here and put that on the top of where I just cut the crease oh, sorry what's in my brush of course then taking the shade Vivacious, that's this one here. The shimmer shade here. And just tapping that into the middle. And making sure that it all blends out as well. And 
and just carving, tidying things up. Going back in with a clean blending brush and just ensuring that all those colors are blended seamlessly. Okay, so we are done for now with the eyes. I'm still going to be going back and forth with it. With I'm still going to be going back and forth to my eyes and just ensuring that we have a nice seamless finish with there um, over there so I will go into my face now the comment was this is not your shade and this is a hot mess okay so I'm, I understand that everyone has their opinions but I can say that this is actually my shade but to each his own I think it was the primer I used that didn't that didn't give this foundation its actual shine on my channel so now i'm going to i actually use the bare minerals mattifying serum and let's see if the results will be different i already know the answer because i used the mattifying serum last week when i was getting ready for my one party and it worked like a dream Okay, so I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics style stickling brush and just blend all that in. So, <laughs> as you can see, this is clearly my shade, but okay. So for now, we're just, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'm going to use my concealer. For my concealer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. So while my lashes are drying, I will go ahead and set my concealer. I'm going to be using my Beauty, Break, Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. This is the Better Not Bitter Setting Powder. This is becoming quite a staple in my collection. And I think it's I'm reaching for this before I reach for any of my other products. This, this is the Translucent Powder. I'm going to set my entire face. I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Setting Powder in the shade Brown. I used this I, last week in my other Getting Ready With Me. Going in with my Morphe M321 brush. And taking the shade Wish and just putting that under my eye. Then for my inner corner, for my inner corner, hmm, I think I'm going to use the shade Captivating. I'm not sure. The shade Delight, yes, that's this one. I'm going to use the shade Delight. My lips. I used my Too Faced Melt Eye Shine lipstick. For my highlighter, you guys know, ding ding ding, my Laura Tantalizer Baked Bronze in the shade Golden Glow. Mm -hmm. 
so guys this is the finished look what do you guys think i really hope i've been able to do a complete i've been able to change your mind change some people's minds with regard to this product the first one that really bothered me was the shade match for the bare minerals complexion rescue hydrating stick foundation because i really like that foundation i think the issue that the person had was that i think what i the mistake i had made from the first video was the fact that i didn't use the matching found matching primer and that's one thing i always try and do when i get a new foundation i always like to use the primer that it comes with i use the the bare minerals mattifying serum that i uh, used last week and i also use that again today the second thing was with regards to the setting powder i used the beauty bakery setting uh, flower setting powders which gave me the nice flawless finish that i did that i liked that and if you see my video from last week i think that was one of my best videos i've ever done the finish was flawless and it was nice so um i will link those two videos somewhere here and you guys can see you can compare and contrast from those video, previous videos till today's videos with regards to the bh the baby the bh cosmetics opalescent palettes i think i mentioned this the fact that i did say that there weren't that many colors to play with but the you can always match this with a, with another eyeshadow palette and that will give you the finish that you would like it's a nice palette to have don't get me wrong i like it it's a nice addition to my collection so i really hope i've been able to change amaka's mind about this palette and the, you can create nice flawless looks flawless looks like i have done now so all in all thank you so much for watching and if you want to see me do more rehash more rehashes of my previous looks just hit me up on twitter um insta on instagram or just let's talk about it in the comments okay until then guys until then guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and most of all subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the flip side okay enjoy your weekend Mwah.